Playing chimes in a band or orchestra is a blast, but I must admit it's one of the most awkward instruments to play. First of all, instead of using mallets or something like that, typically we need something that has a little more weight, so we're using hammers. These are made out of rolled rawhide, or you might have a hammer that's acrylic that has a more articulate sound. For simple melodies, one hammer is sufficient. However, if you have more complex, faster melodies, you'll need to use two hands. Instead of hitting the note from the top, angling down, which gets a really thin sound, I want all the impact of the stroke going in from the side. So by holding the mallets a little more sideways, I can lift up and get the same sound on the sharps instead of approaching them both from the top. For most manufacturers of chimes, when the pedal is down, the tubes are free to ring. I can leave the pedal down and cut off sound with a hand I'm not using if I want. One of the biggest challenges of playing the chimes is not so much just playing them, but it's being able to read your music, watch the conductor, and see the notes that you're hitting all at the same time. Have your music stand as high and close to the instrument as possible. Instead of setting up the chimes so that the conductor is on the other side of them, and you're trying to peer through the bars to see the conductor, set the instrument up so that it's sideways or angled toward the conductor with the music being right in line with the conductor.